Hello, what's going on guys and welcome to another Gamescast and this time we're going to do the same thing as what we did last time which was a wish list for a game that is, well, a, for a sequel but this time we're going to do a wish list for a game that's already out and this is Pokemon Go which Pokemon Go came out like a week and a bit ago so I decided why not make a wish list for that since uh, most things that are in the game right now um, well, most things that they want to add is like simple stuff like trading or friends list or something like that. That's just the simple stuff. So I thought, why not have like some more stuff that they could really improve in the game. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, and if you want to see another version of this, of a game that's like already come out or of a sequel to a game, then uh, comment it down below and I will do it. So let's get started with the Pokemon Go. So as the first thing that I'm going to go over is some more customization -able, like items, more custom items that you can actually earn instead of, uh, you know, like the standard stuff from where you was able to uh, make a character. Maybe they could add in some more things because they've got the, uh, the medals type thing on your character, which they do nothing. It, it does literally nothing for you. So if you actually, you know, like earn the medals via that, then you get some like customization type things like some accessories for your character accessories for pokemon accessories for that kind of stuff just to you know give it a little bit of like a different touch um especially since every single person looks exactly the same and i wish you could kind of like not have that like the only real difference is hair color and uh gender really that's all there is that's that's literally everything but if they you know decided to have like a little bit more type of uh clothing and stuff like that maybe like if you catch this many types of uh i don't know grass type or bug types you get like different headwear or clothes and you know shoes and anything like that just something a little bit different something that allows us to earn it instead of uh uh, making us pay for it really. I know it's a free game, but you know, it's already got a microtransaction type thing in there So there's no real point in adding accessory type things and might as well allow us to earn them instead So the second thing that I want to kind of uh, Go on and look at is the uh, the battle format which um, in Pokemon Go right now You can only do gym battles which gym battles they do next to they do nothing for you really you can take over a gym Yes, but it doesn't do anything yes it gives you coins or it gives you poker bucks um po poker coins if anything uh for the for just placing a pokemon in there but you can only place one pokemon per gym which is a little bit annoying in that way because there might just be like a lot of gyms where you live like where i live there's five all near each other there's like a mile radius between five of them so you can get a lot of things done with that but since you can only take over one it's a little bit annoying that way uh but if they allowed us to add in like a uh, a battle type mode instead of just having a gym format you could have like i don't know like multiplayer just with like friends just to you know battle them battle their pokemon's ais and stuff like that just to allow you to train up yours and train up theirs and i think this would only kind of work if you were in the same team so like myself i'm instinct i know i'm like the underdog type thing instead i don't mind having that i've always been the underdog type person so i've always been like the black horse so that that type of thing kind of works so it's like if you could have like a friends list which I've, i'm thinking that they are going to add to pokemon go it's like a more of like a sociable type thing i'm not going to add that as a point because i know they're going to bring it at some point but if they allowed us to you know have battles between mates have to well allow us to actually uh train up other people's things you'll be able to do that like once a day per person or every single hour if anything you could uh, battle a friend you could do that you know it allows us to train up our characters a little bit more allow them to boost up their uh, their cp the combat power um so it it allow us to do a little bit of that but then that's only the multiplayer side as well i would like them to actually add in like a single player kind of uh not really story arc type thing but just some single player ai battles because it already uses ais in uh, in gym battles so there's no real point in not having a single player type element to it so like you know like trainers around the world and stuff like that maybe adding like a challenge type thing maybe you get an egg from beating these people or something like that just allow us to get more things maybe like a uh, maybe like a weekly challenge you have to go through like the seven people like you have to do it daily you have to uh for like an entire week you get all of those and then the last person is like kind of hardest one but there's like a weekly reset towards it that makes us you know 
get a little bit more I don't know, a little bit more of a uh, competitive edge towards it because right now it is literally just a button press, a button mash, if anything. Button mash, swipe, button bash, swipe, button mash, swipe, swipe, something like that. It's a little bit annoying in that way. I know that it's not the general or the genetic, uh, like, Pokemon style of fighting where, you know, it's a turn-based type thing, but this one is just a button mash, which, you know, you could have it in the previous Pokemon where you just had it in like training mode which then you could power them up but you know it allows them to do that but when you go into like a gym battle uh, you're allowed to power up your Pokemon but it doesn't actually improve them it just improves the gym standards it doesn't improve like your Pokemon itself so I would like them to have like an AI type battle mode just to you know just something different than just a gym battle so the third and final feature which is uh, something that most people would probably want in the game itself, is um, run in the background. Please run it in the background, because it's really annoying that the fact that I have to hold the phone to count steps. I know a lot of people are very annoyed about it. I know that, yes, it is a, like an always online game, and yes, you always have to be connected to the internet, which everybody is, essentially. Apart from where I live, there's some little dead zones around the place. So you kind of have to have it always in your hand to make sure that it's working but if they like when i go to my town it's complete wi-fi the entire way but the fact that i have to always hold it like if i don't want to catch any pokemon but i want to just hatch eggs that'd be a little bit better you could just put it in your phone run in the background sorted but it it's a little bit annoying that you have to have it always open always on you can't just you know close it up it's just there as like a background app you know like when you have like something else open, something else open all at the same time. It doesn't work like that, which is really annoying, even though they could easily do it. It just simply uses the uh, stepometer or pedometer or whatever the hell it's called and a GPS both at the same time. So why not allow the run in the background app to feature in the game itself? It's so annoying that it's not in it right now, but you know, there's a lot of things that they have to fix. I know, yes, it's only been a week and they keep on adding new countries. So that means the servers are going to get a little bit screwed up at times. I know occasionally, yes, the servers are fine because the Australia one's pretty much fine right now. Um, the UK ones are kind of getting better. Uh, US ones are pretty much the same as the UK ones. So it's a little bit annoying that way. But uh, the fact that we have to keep on, you know, having the free step feature as well. There's a lot of features they have to fix, and I know it's really annoying for most other people, like, including me. Like, I found a Mr. Mime somewhere around my town, and he disappeared as soon as it started to beep quite a bit. It kind of started to flash quite a lot, and then he just disappeared. So that's really annoying that I didn't know where he was. Like, it was, it, it was just a permanent free step, which is really annoying that they haven't fixed that. Yes, they fix the servers, kind of, but please fix the free step problem because it's so annoying to find Pokemon just around the place. But hopefully you enjoyed this kind of uh, wish list towards things. If there's any features that you guys want to see in Pokemon Go, uh, then comment it down below. Uh, more than welcome to any comments, any suggestions towards it. I know most people are just going to say fix servers, fix the breaking, which is fine. You can still put that down below. And I actually really do enjoy the game uh, just to play it with mates, just to, you know, scavenge the world. I know that all of my mates and me are all instincts. So any instinct pe people out there, put that down below. If there's a team that you're not and, you know, Comment that down below. You're more than welcome to any team. Just say it down below. But uh, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. So, peace out.